Hi, I'm Johnny Shannon from Sterling Geo. I'd like to tell you a little bit about our spatial model library. So in Erdas Imagine version 2014, one of the best things about it is the spatial modeler. And here at Sterling Geo, we've been starting to develop one or two extra models that we hope will be useful to our customers. So if you head over to our website at erdas.sterlinggeo.com and have a look under the Imagine page, over on the right hand side, you'll see a little link to our downloadable library of ready to run spatial models. So if we have a look there, we can see what we got. We've only been doing this for a while, so we haven't got too many, but there's still one or two useful ones there. And the one I'm gonna be looking at today is the merging of a classification and segmentation layer. So these models come in a couple of different versions, the ready to run one, which we'll have a look at in a moment, and the editable format. And so if you want to uh, have a look at one, all you have to do is right hand click and save the file. Uh, let me just find the right directory. Here we go. And it saves as a .gmdx file, and that's the format for Spatial Modeler. So there we go, we've got that. Let's hop over to Imagine. And if we go to the Toolbox tab and click on Spatial Model Editor, then the Spatial Model Editor pops up and we can just load the model that we've just downloaded straight in. Okay, I better say that you a little bit about why I developed this model. So when we do an unsupervised classification, as you can see in this left-hand window, and really don't pay too much, too much attention to the classification there, um, oftentimes if you're just using the spectral information, you get this kind of uh, salt and pepper effect. If we have a look at the segmentation file over the same region, sometimes um, areas come out a little bit better. And what we want to do is combine the spatial element of the segmentation with the spectral element of the, in this case, unsupervised classification. And hopefully we'll get a little bit of a smoother classification out at the end. Well, let's see what happens. I just want to show how you can actually utilize this model. So over on the left hand side here, we've got our input data sets, our segmented data sets and our classified data set. So to input the data set, we just double click on the input here, the segmented data set, and we'll navigate to our file. There's our segmented file, just click OK. And we want to find our classified data set, and we find our unsupervised classification. Again, just click OK. And then we move over to the right hand side, and we just want to specify our output data set, and I'll call that seg class two, click OK. And then we can go up to the run button on the spatial modeler tab and click run. And there we go, it runs through and we get our output data set. Let's see what that output data set looks like. Well, it's a bit murky at the moment. And the reason is we haven't brought the colors over from the classified file. So I'm gonna open up the attribute table here and let's have a look and see what we got. A few colors there. I'm gonna open up the attribute table for all the segmented class as well. And you can see the colors are all um, black. So now I'm just gonna copy the colors across. And paste the colors in, and there we go. Now we can have a look and see what that uh, spatial model has actually done. If we have a look at the swipe between the two, then you can see where the uh, segmented areas have uh, been large than the, the maximum um, class, the majority class from the unsupervised classification has filled the entire um, part of that segment. And it just uh, cleans up the classification a bit. Now, caveat alert, um, you do have to bear in mind this may decrease the accuracy of your classification as well as potentially increase it. And so it's very, very uh, important to uh, get the initial unclassified, uh, unsupervised classification correct and the segmentation as good as you possibly can. But if you do have those two good inputs, then this method certainly can help you out. So if we go back and have a look at the uh, downloads that are available, I said that there was one ready to run as well. And so what this is, if we go to the toolbox tab and click under Spatial Model Editor, there's a button there called Launch Spatial Model. And this version of the modeler is one where you can just open it up 
And then instead of having a look at the spatial model editor, all it asks is for the segmented data set, the classification data set, and your output file. And then if you click on run, it'll go away and uh, perform that uh, spatial model uh, process for you there. OK, so keep an eye out in the newsletter and on our Twitter feed for more spatial models as they pop up in our spatial model library. And if you have anything that uh, you'd like us to try and develop for you, we're all ears. We're always keen to do that. OK, that's been me, Johnny Shannon, um, for the moment. And until next time, bye for now. <laughs>